Do you mind? Look at this beast. Shed update. All the netting is on. Here's a few drone shots. Now the netting is all up. That just keeps the guys safe when they're working up there. Come up to see me. Make me smile. didn't show it earlier in the week but a few months back we had a couple of cattle beasts that were inside that genetic joint issues put them out the vet said put them out for the summer they might get better one didn't had to get it shot taken away by Grays Hill and the other one got a vet slip for it to get to the abattoir but it was it did nothing and then we've just had that dead cow oh bloody hell possibly staggers she's not just died in the last couple of hours she'd have been through the night last night or yesterday I would think. Just been round checking all the mineral tubs, check they're all fine, but there's still plenty of minerals kicking about because that's in theory to stop the staggers because of magnesium in that. Staggers is a deficiency in magnesium. A lick doesn't mean all cows are getting it, it's only the cows that are licking it. They don't all lick it. So I don't know if we think about next year just doing a bolus. A bolus is a, a tablet that you put down their throats into their stomach and it sits there for a while and slowly breaks down gives them supplements rather than a lick, I don't know that way you know they've all got it that's her lying there, I'm not showing you up close because it's kids watching and whatnot and they might not want to see that but so annoying and yes when you've livestock you've dead stock doesn't mean it's not annoying I've just checked my, back my records because last year we had the exact same Similar timing, I, we had a cow that died, Holly the cow, some of you will remember. And that was at the start of October. Today's date is the 1st of October. I'll bolus them all next year, scrap the mineral buckets. Anyway, moving on. Stay there. Stay there, dog. <laughs> Another lorry coming up the drive. Concrete panels this time. I don't know how many more loads of concrete panels are to come. These panels are not all for us, just the back half of the load. Guys are not here yet, so I'll just unload them. These are wee short square corners, which will make sense once the shed all goes together. Two panels, they'll all show muster. Three's too much for her. There is that bigger forklift there, but I could just prefer my own one. It'd be quicker doing two panels at a time with this than three panels at a time with that. There we go, last two. All the other panels on the lorry are away to Montrose. 2nd of October, so if you're expecting concrete panels, there they are. There you go, 15 more panels. Some wee ones, some intermediates, and some big ones. The cows are intrigued to watch what was going on. Off he goes. We got them. Apart from there's one cow in there, which is annoying. Sieve her out somehow. That'll be 21 or 41 so far out of this field. Anyway, I've showed you enough of the same job for the last three days, so I'll see you later. It's the next day, I'm just fishing out the passport of that cow that died. Over the weekend there, Grays Hill are coming to pick it up. I think it's just that strip at the bottom there. I need to give to Grays Hill. Born in Aberdeen, Newmacher, Klein Farm. Mr. Jolly, Mr. Jolly. Coos deed, not so jolly. <sighs> Damn it. We bought her on the 30th of October, 2021. So she's been on farm two years and then we've killed her. Nice one. Good morning, let's catch more calves. I've got five penned up over there. I've managed to bend this pin, which is actually for holding the top rail of the feeder in. I can't get this gate to sit square now because it's all squint and I can't get the pin out. So I'll tie a strap around it and try and bend it square. Let's straighten up this pin. 